it. Um, welcome, welcome, because I was going to announce about that, about the retreat. So, um, Sarada, you can announce it since you were there. I haven't listened to the recording yet. About uh, well, the Summer, yeah, Summer said to block out the last, like, couple weekends of September just to make sure that you're able to go, but it's probably going to be the Saturday before the last Saturday in September. They're going to have a retreat down in um, Orlando, mm -hmm. and she said they haven't signed, like, on the dotted line about the speaker, but she's free, and they got the verbal go-ahead that um, Rachel Hollis, the writer of the book I just showed, the um, Girl, Wash Your Face, will be speaking. Woo-woo! And, um, so, and there's, I think they're trying to find someone to also talk about leadership, so it's going to be, like, a really big thing, mm -hmm. and she's he said they're trying to figure out like how to get everyone to kind of stay together so mm -hmm. that, you know, there'll be a pool and mm -hmm. fun times too. So, but mm -hmm. she's always excited, but, <laughs> but it sounds really, really fun. Yeah. That's awesome. I'm really excited about that. I was talking to them last then about it. Cause I'm like, I'm going to be in Germany. Like how do I come to these things? <laughs> and I was like, I need like a budget for <laughs> flying. <laughs> Because I plan, you know, Brian's like, of course you can go to Summit, but like the cruise and, you know, NARO and the other retreats, like and other, you know, leadership events, like I want to, I want to come, I want to go to it with you guys. So yeah, I was really thinking about NARO because I thought it would be really good. And then I saw how much it costs and I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> I don't yeah. Think I can do that. yeah. The good thing, that's why Summer tries to do that because she tries to do both. So like the Shaleen thing. I mean, I think it was like 1500 just to get in and then they stayed at a house, then your airfare. So she tries to do retreats and, you know, get a house that we can all stay in and you pay like 300 or 400 and then the rest is free, you know, so it's like a little bit more, but I will say it's, it's an investment, but it's worth it. Like, you know, just like summit and it's, it, uh, Jeff Hill said that on the wake up call, the ROI, like return on investment, like it's, it's worth investing in your growth and your leadership and your you know, your personal growth, because I don't know, whatever that quote is, like you have, you you have to grow into the person that you need to be to, to lead a 15 star team or to, you know, to be a star diamond coach or to help 40 challengers a month. Like you have to be a different person than you are right now. You have to grow into that and learn and, and how you do that is being surrounded by other people and also going and learning, you know, from other people and stuff like that. So Cool. All right. Well, I want us to actually like do this so that we, everybody gets an idea of like what a power hour is. Um, but that I did want to make that, you know, announcement about that retreat because it was on the call last night, which is really awesome. So this is the one that I think is the easiest to use. There is like how many Lindsay hundreds <laughs> of, 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 you know, papers because everyone's like, that doesn't work for me. And they make a new one make one that's, you know, make one that works for you, but you need something to help you know what to do and, you know, each week and stuff like that, because or else you're like, what should I do? So Brandy, you've got it. That's awesome. Yep. That's it right there. And I mean, there's this one that we were using, but I actually think this is better because it has the names right on there. And then you can be like, did I actually do it instead of I just didn't click off my check. <laughs> like, you know, it's a little more noticeable that you're not doing it. So I really, this is the one that I'm going to, like, recommend that we use. So um, the top is for the workout, Shakeology, and PD. Um, sometimes on these live calls, like, I've read something to you guys PD-wise, but um, the one I'll just say, I'll say this because it's sitting right here, is she believes she did, so she did. Lindsay, I think you have a shirt that says that. And I think so often – you know, we think we can't do it, and, and that's where the PD is so important to, because you need that couple minutes of PD. Michelle Meyer says it doesn't have to be 10 pages or 10 minutes. It has to be so you get something that you can use. So, like, get your golden nugget, and that might be two paragraphs in, like, got it, okay? <laughs> like, I need to chew on that. I'm ready. Or, or maybe, you know, you read a couple pages or maybe you read in a half an hour, like kind of depends. I remember Scotty Hobbs, one time I watched his video on a live power hour. And he's like, this is what I do. And he went and sat down in his office and he went like this. And he said, I read for an hour and a half before I turn my computer on. And he said every day, like before he turned his computer on to even look at any group, any, anything, because he's like, that's how important it is. Like that I'm in the right, that I grow and I'm in the right frame of mind. So 
it's the one that's easiest to skip, but it seriously is the most important. So energy bus all the way, read energy bus. If, if you're not read something, you know, get something cute. And you can use like, I mean, Summer is like a walking PD because she just regurgitates what she reads. If you didn't notice, <laughs> like she's like, it's not my own material. It's not, she just does a ton of PD and she just shares it. And um, so you can just listen to, you know, her trainings and stuff like that. Okay. So then um, on there, it kind of has the check-ins first. It, it's sort of like up to you how you do it. But um, uh, I, I think it's best to do like your find your connect your invites first, because then if you run out of time, you did the thing that's the most important. It has it on here, you know, challenge group team and messages um, like earlier, but some people do it in like chunks, you know, like I go do your quick check-ins and then do the other part, you know, later or whatever. But I want us to go and actually like do this right now. So the first thing is finds. And if you want, I can share my screen so you can see what I'm doing. Do you want me to, or you just want to do it? I lost you guys. There you are. <laughs> you want me to share my screen or can you just go do your finds? You want me to show you how I do it and stuff? Brandy or anybody? Yeah, I'm going to go around and grab my phone so I can do it Okay. with you. Sure. Is it helpful, Lindsay, to see, or are you just, we can just everybody do it on our own? Either way is fine with me. Okay. I mean, and I think, um, since I think you're recording, so other people might see it later, it might be helpful to share a screen because, um, you see it later. Yeah, for visual learners. All right, I can do that. Okay, so I'm going to give this, I'm going to, uh, on my phone right here, but I'm going to give us like two minutes to do each one of these things, and we're going to like, do it um like right now <laughs> um so let me grab my phone you can start getting ready to do your finds okay so i'm gonna set the timer for two minutes and i want you to go and find your two people so some days you find four people, like write down four, and the next day you don't have to find two more. Or, you know, if it's not overwhelming to you, just see how many you can find each day and just make sure by the end of the week you're at 10 or, you know, whatever it works for you. Um, it, uh, it, it, you know, it's kind of up to you on that, but it's easiest to just do two, 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 and then you're not overwhelmed. Like, it's too much. I did too much or, you know, whatever. Okay, so I'm giving us two minutes and I'll... Uh, share my screen. Can I share a tip that I do? Yeah, please. So um, the tips that I found, you know, have been really helpful, but I still get nervous about contacting people that maybe I don't know as well and everything. So what I realized is there are some very connected people like I went to high school with mm -hmm. and I go on their page or someone that I worked for before in the school system, I go on their page and I find the people I actually knew that I just haven't connected with Yeah. Um, on Facebook. And so like, I just went on a high school friends page and found two people that I remembered from high school and I boom, boom, did that. Perfect. That is so great. And if you have moved, like you can, there's ways. Um, so like from co like college, so I have it listed in there where I went to college. So you can go and find friends. There's like a, a setting for that right here. So search for friends. So I can put in different, like I lived there, but you know me, I've lived like a bazillion places, but I could put in another place I've lived and find people that, like you said, like from high school or college or a different church that you went to, um, you know, different things like that. You know, it has all these different things, the so places that you work. So like you worked at, blah, 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 pool company or, you know, or something, you can put that in and you might find people that you did know. So that is a great tip um, for finding people, you know, that um, you might not have known. So you want to go in, you guys saw how I went to that just on your profile page, you go and it says, um, you have your friends and then it says find, find friends, oops, find friends. And then you're able to see people that you have a lot of mutual friends with. Um, and oh, some, so, so what I do is I look and see who the mutual friends are often because I don't just want to add a whole bunch of coaches because unless you know them or you have a reason to be connected with them, like you really connect with them and 
want to see how they post and stuff like that. But in general, you don't just want a ton of coaches because you're not going to be able like to connect, you know, with them. So, um, that girl is another coach, but she lives in Belfont where I used to live. So I'm actually going to add her because that's kind of cool. Cause I could talk to her and I know who that is anyway. So that's kind of how you, how you can kind of go through there and do that. And if you see that they are like part of another MLM, it doesn't mean you don't want to add them, you know, but who knows, they might not be happy with what they're doing. You know, you just kind of never know. Um, I typically, but kind of skip over them and if they request me and I, you know, end up wanting to talk to them or whatever. So that's someone from church here and I actually met her the other day. So I'm going to add her. So that's my two and our timer went. Um, okay. So that's our finds. Now the connects, this is where you need a list. And Sarita, you want to share about how you made your list off of your post recently? Oh, I think you're muted. Sorry, I forgot. That's okay. Um, I posted about my transformation um, with, I posted a picture of me in a dress and kind of a little bit of backstory about how I ended up with that dress. And um, I had like over 85 people like that post, which awesome. was insane. Yeah, so um, good. And a whole, a whole bunch of comments too. And so I'll use, I'll, message and connect with those comments first yeah um those are those will be my focus this week and then as I'm looking for people you know because things kind of go up and down when I'm looking for people I'll go back and hit up some of the people that had liked the post and yeah. um thank them for their support or whatever and just start conversations like that exactly so those are called connects and so on on Sunday, Monday morning, Saturday, like whenever you need to do it, Wednesday, I don't really care. You just need to do it. <laughs> you need to look at who is liking and commenting and notice, you know, that people who are liking and commenting. So this is like about Evan. So I'll definitely look at that, but I'm going to um, probably go more to one that was something fitness related as far as who I want to connect with for sure, you know, or whatever, unless it was something really like deep and emotional that I want to connect with those people or whatever. So I have comments. So I wrote down her name. I wrote down her name and I write back to them. So that's a tip. I, if you comment back on there, it comes back out. It makes it look like there's more comments. Facebook's like, oh, this is a great post. I'm going to show it more and stuff like that. So these people's names, I actually already reached out to them today, but these are the people that I messaged and I said, you know, great. I'll message, I'll message you or whatever. So these are my connects. So I had four, five right here from this one post that like want information on, um, this so ready you posted this and got pretty got some results from it right like it's pretty I would recommend posting that um, got a few yeah are you talking are you talking about the um, the one about looking for yeah people, people who want to lose 10 yeah I had like five people yeah that you weren't you talking got, to before probably right <laughs> Yeah, what's really funny is a couple of them were ones I was like, man, I really wish I could talk to them. Like, how do I yep. figure out how to reach them? Because one of them um, is kind of doing that keto coffee yeah. stuff with, I think it, what is it? It works. It's yeah. suddenly like all keto stuff. Yeah. Um, but she um, commented on there. And so that's really easy when they do that. But I've never done anything where I got a response. Yeah, that's <laughs> awesome. So I wanted to share about that. Last night I was talking um, with Kimberly Wilcox and some other people, and she posts a call to action like every single day on her post. And she said, the reason is out of every 100 friends you have, only 7% of them are seeing your posts. So think about it. Like when you scroll your newsfeed, do you see all 100, 200, 500, like how many friends you have? I have like 2,000 friends. Like I don't see 2,000 people's posts like at all. Like I see repeats of just a few people, you know, and like I have to go and look specifically for people. And that's the same with people looking at your stuff. They're not seeing your stuff. So if you're only posting like one time a month, you know, hey, this is what I'm doing. Hey, can I help you join me? Like they're not, they're not seeing it. And so you have, you have to post like more often. <laughs> and I know that's the scary part. And, you know, I said, what do you say when people are like, I don't want to be salesy. I don't want to scare. And she goes, number one, they're not seeing it. So they're, they're seeing it one time. Like they're not seeing it a million times. Like we think they are. And number two, you have to just get over what people thinking about you and caring what they say, because 
you're looking for the people that you can help. You're not looking for the ones that don't want to follow you. And now you don't want to be like, who wants to buy from me? That's not working. But talking about, I love my tribe. I love getting together with the girls. I love this. I love fitting this dress. Like just sharing, you've got to share it. It can't just be only your kids or only, you know, different stuff. Like we have to be sharing our journey like every day so that people can, they, they can trust consistency. And um, anyway, that's a side note on the social media part. But I thought that that was really good because sometimes I don't, I don't like to always post those either, but they work. And they, these five people, I have not talked to them like about fitness or anything like ever, ever. And I'm like, how'd you see this post? Like, I never don't talk to you. Like, you know, so it just, it just goes to show you just have, we just have to post um, and we have to, because we never know who's gonna, we're going to connect with. Okay. So those are your connects. Um, you're going to do it right now. What time is it? 12 20. Okay. We still have time. So, um, yeah, I'll, set us, I'll give you three minutes to send your connects. So Soretta, one thing, like when I, when you get a lot, like I write them all down and then I do like maybe five in a day, or if it's a day that I have more time that day, I will send like 15 messages that day if they just wrote, you know, and, and wanted it. And then I spend the next day like responding and following up and stuff like that. So you, it's kind of like a connects for the week or invites for the week sort of thing. Cause some days if you have a post and they want to know, like I'm not going to wait till Friday just because I'm only doing two a day. You know what I mean? So um, you can kind of play around a guideline. Yeah, yeah, good. Perfect. Like a guideline is two per day, but like, I'm not going to not message them because I'm like, I already did my two. I'm done. You know, you want to do like, I guess maybe two is like the minimum, you know, like do your two for sure. But then, um, you know, and then you don't have to search so hard the next day because you already did 10 or whatever it is. Um, okay. So two minutes, do your connects. Um, I can show you. Uh, do, do, do. Anyway, I was going to go try to. No. Um, find where I, I messaged her this morning. Anyway, so just like an example, connect. A girl wrote me, can you please send me the specifics of the program cost and daily time commitment? You know, so I was writing her back this morning, explaining a little bit, and I'll send her the graphic. And that other girl, Sharon, let me try to find her. I don't really want you to see all of like their information, but I wrote to her and said, Hey, I went to bed last night, but I didn't forget. I love this program. Tell me what's interested you, what you want to work on or improve. So that's like the connect. Another connect would be like, thank you from your support on my picture of me and my dress. I'm feeling great. Are you on a journey too? Another connect would be, Hey, I saw you commented about your strong world daughter, Lindsay, you know, um, how have you been finding things that are working or it's neat to connect? I mean, like it doesn't have to be fitness related it, to be a connect. We just want to start conversations with people. So those are the connects. Everybody done? <laughs> we have 30 seconds. She just wrote me back right now. Could have tried to find the invite wording. Hmm, sorry, I'm like scrolling. Okay, there's our timer. Connect's done. Brandy, do you have any, do you understand what that means about a connect? Yes. Like just starting a conversation with someone? Yeah. Uh, why is there so much in here? <laughs> um, anyway, that's the different one. There we go. So this, um, this page in here, you know, kind of explains like about, you know, some different ideas for, I saw your post about that quinoa salad. It looks really good. What did your family think of it? That's a connect. Like it doesn't have to be you know, are you a journey? Do you want to join me? Like, we just want to connect with people, like be real, be social, be friendly. So as, um, so now it's time for the invites, which I know sometimes is a scary part, but it, it's the part that you can't skip. Um, because that's, 
if you don't invite them to something, how can they order from you? And then how can you help them? And how can you make money? <laughs> like you have to have to invite for them to do it. So two options on here. Have you ever considered being part of an online accountability group, being with others who are also working on things and having plan to follow has made all the difference for me. Can I tell you more about it? So that could be as you're in a conversation or that's the, are you on a journey to, yes, I keep starting stuff, but I keep quitting, blah, blah, blah. Tell me more about that. And then you get to the, you know, have you ever considered doing what I'm doing? Or they are like, what are you doing? You want to find out where, what they need. And then you can, um, then you can invite them genuinely. Like if they're like, yeah, I just struggle with my sweet tooth so bad. Like, have you ever considered, um, having like a, a health shake that, you know, it's really helped me with my sweet tooth. Like you just, that's an invite to them. And the referral, I love using it. I use it a lot. Is I'm not sure if you've seen it on my po any of my posts, but I help run fitness accountability groups on Facebook. Having support has really made a difference for me. Do you know of anyone who might be interested in, you know, in working on their nutrition, in being in a positive group, to live life to the fullest, like whatever you want to say. And nobody turns that, like nobody responds negatively to that. Everyone I've ever said that to, they're like, that's really cool. Like, you know, how long have you been doing that? What exactly do you do? I could use some help. Like, you know, so it takes the pressure off of the direct invite, but it really does work. So that is, I'm going to give us how many minutes? And this is where you need, you have a list too, people that you've been maybe connecting with and you're like, okay, I'm ready to invite them. Or like, I need to just take the plunge and actually do it. Or someone you've been seeing a lot and or they've been commenting a lot or someone you know in real life and you just know you're ready to be like, send them an invite. So, and give us three minutes. Do you know who you're gonna invite, Lindsay, Brandy? No? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. I'm looking. Looking, okay. So that's where the whole, um, we don't have to do it right now, but this would be, this is the part where people like just freeze, but it's because it's all like a, the funnel thing. So like you have to be posting on social media to be able to get to people that are commenting on your post, to be able to connect to them, to be able to invite them. And like all of those things have to, have to happen to be able to get to the invite part. And the very, very bottom of the funnel is them ordering. So if there's any part in there that's not happening or happening regularly, then that's why you don't have anybody, you know, like to, to invite. Does that make sense? Um, and writing names down, like having, having their names of people that you're talking to, because then you can go back. Like I have lists and lists and lists of people that I've talked to and, you know, they've said now is not a good time. So, I mean, that's a follow up, but that, that's like a re-invite kind of thing, you know, month later, year later, you know, you can go and just be like, Hey, this new nutrition thing came out and I know that you weren't really interested in exercise. Like, can I tell you more about it? Like that you know, that's an invite. Um, so anyway, that's why I, I really think like the, it all goes together. The posts give you people to talk to, but having their names written down and then you know who you're going to sit down and invite. Um, and you can do like, sometimes it takes some courage to invite. So if you're in the mood, like send it to five people, you know, or whatever. I don't really believe in just like cold invites. Like I, I think they work much better when they come from conversation. Um, we used to, Lindsay, I know, just like, go find 20 people that you know and send them the random message. And I don't really, I, it all comes from people that I'm talking to because they're seeing what I'm doing and they're like, where'd you get your spiralizer? Blah, blah, blah. Oh yeah, I just got it at Ross. You know, <laughs> like you just start talking to them and then, you know, like, have you ever made veggie noodles? And they're like, no, but gosh, I need to get off the pasta. Oh really? Well, you know, and then it, it just turns into a conversation. Like, um, that's, that's what we do like we do invite and we do sell but we do it relationally it does that make sense not just do you want to buy us form books do you want to buy jamboree nails like you know like it's it's much more it comes from from knowing the person that makes sense kind of okay so we won't do the invite part right here, here but that's what that's what you um would do right there and then the follow-ups is from your list again so look at your list during, you know, the beginning of the week or each morning or whatever it is and see who you haven't, who didn't get back to you. Hey, I never want to seem like I'm bugging you, but just wanted to see if you had a chance to look at that, that video I sent you or think any more about this or watch that video or whatever it is that you've done. And another 
you know, thing you can do people that you talked to a month ago or a year ago. I know it's been a little while since we've talked, but I'm loving this new nutrition program. I just want to reach out and see if you might be interested in learning to see if it's a good fit for you or the timing's better. Like who's going to say you're a jerk and delete you? Like no one, <laughs> like you're, you know, you're just, it shows you actually care. How many times have you been invited? I've been invited to like host a 31 party. And then I say, no, like uh, not right now. And then they never talk to me again, like ever, you know, like we, we following up actually shows that you care. It's not bugging them. If you feel like it's bugging them, say what you're afraid of, like just leave with your fear. Like, and I'm so sorry that I haven't talked to you in a long time. Like, I'm sorry, I'm a jerk <laughs> that I didn't talk to you or, you know, like say it's okay to just, you know, to be, be real, be human, be, be normal. So does that kind of make sense? On follow-ups any questions and then we've got a couple more minutes so on groups um, I'll just share this for anybody who's like watching this later so I have my groups you used to be able to move them around and I think you can't anymore for whatever reason but um, so as far as groups like I go into team well I'm already in team level go into team live full maybe. <laughs> and I see, you know, what's been posted and I, you know, learn if there's like a date for a call, I'll take it and I'll write it down. If there's something going on, you know, that's good. I'll comment. Okay, great. Can't make it like just participate, be involved. You don't have to like and comment on every single thing, but it, it helps you. You see this great job. So that's really cool. Blah, blah, blah. Any tips, you know, like just comment, be part of the group together. And then I go into, see, they're all like way out of order. Fit club. And if you're watching this later, you can set this to notifications off. And right here is pinned to shortcuts. And that way you can find them when it's time to go. And you can write them on your tracker paper so that you know which groups you need to go into each day. So then I go in here and I go down. Um, sorry, phone call. And I will say, energized man, you know, I think I already commented on this, but I said, way to rock your day, or you give a diff or something. And then I go to the next one and I kind of read it and skim through. And, you know, I might say something about her son or that's so awesome. And I might be like, wow, that looks really good. Can you share the recipe for that? You know, like you just like and comment and, sh and just connect or whatever, like, like these people have right here same thing, you know, and one random tip that I learned in a different group is I like it and then I comment. So then when I'm going through, if I haven't liked it, then I know I didn't comment yet. And it's just a little tip because, you know, stuff gets posted back up if someone commented on it later. And that way I'm not like triple commenting on stuff, which you can, you know, whatever. But like, I know I didn't write to Michelle yet. So I like it. And then you know, I, I can say what I want to say, but I'm not going to do it right now. So I'm going to unlock it. <laughs> but that way, when I'm going through, I know what I have, you know, liked and, and not done. Does that make sense? Just a little tip. So the next I'd go into the 2B group because that's another group. So yes, there is a lot of groups. There just is this the way it is. But if you turn off the notifications and you um, have them in your pin favorites, then you can get to them easily. And then I would look, actually, I look in Fearless first because I want to see if there's anything I can post that we need to know in Team Live Full usually. Um, and I do not like and comment on everything in here because there's just a lot. Um, but I will, you know, just kind of kind of go through. I always try to welcome people because I think that's great or getting, you know, the CEO enrolled. So I can see I already did um, on that one, you know, and I haven't on this one. So I'll just be like, yay, welcome to the team. It's just a way to be connected and you start getting to know other people and meeting. I might read her story a little bit more because there was like a military lady. So I was like, hey, where are you stationed? You know, like that kind of thing. So that is it for groups. It shouldn't take you long, but really being part of it, it really does make a difference on your journey. And you never know who you are inspiring. And they needed that encouragement from you that day. And if we're all getting in there, you know, then everybody's getting supported instead of just being me or just being Lindsay or just being Adina, like we can all get in there and help each other. So um, that is like the groups up there, challenge group team messages. We did those. So you'd be writing down the names that you did. And then um, the gratitude, that's just being grateful. There was in Meet Mantha Tree, you actually had to post it and that's where it came from. But I still think it's a good idea. Like write it down in, 
if you want to decide to put it into, um, you know, the team with, well, hey guys, everybody write down three things they're thankful for. Like do that, do that on your Facebook page, get a little journal and do it, do it with your kids. Like just think about what you're thankful for every day. It changes your focus. It's, it's really a good thing to do. And then the social media posts, I know we've talked about this a lot, but, um, knowing what to post is having your five pillars. So for me, it's my faith, my marriage, my kids, my beach body journey, you know, and our team. And I just like seriously rotate through those posts. So if I can be like, okay, it's time to post something about Brian. The other day I posted a picture saying that I miss him, whatever. How long have you been married? You know, whatever, just like something. I don't have as many pictures of him right now because he's not here. So I have to work on that. Or maybe I share a quote or a book or a blog or, you know, or something like that. Share something about my kids share something about the team, share, you know, just, um, you go through those things. And if you love mermaids, like I want to see mermaids a lot, like Lindsay flowers, like I see flowers a lot. I can tell you like flowers. That's awesome. You know, like that's a good thing to, it helps you know you, if you hate cooking, like you shouldn't post all the time or you should post how you're working out, working on it. <laughs> like I've found this recipe. It's really easy. I really struggle with cooking. What good ideas do you guys have? You know, like, like that kind of thing. So those are your posts. Um, minimum two, a, like two a day is, is good. More than that is, you know, but we don't want like 10 a day cause then that gets annoying, but like two to five is kind of the, the magic number, but two is, two is good. Okay. So you got five minutes. So that is the power hour. I know we didn't really actually do it right now, but when you do that, then you can click off and your list. I get to my power hour. And if you do that five times a week, I promise you will have people to talk to. You will have people coming to you off your posts. You will have people in your funnel. You will have people, you know, to invite, and then you'll have people to follow up with. So um, let's do questions before we go here for like five more minutes. Brandy, I know you were the one kind of not knowing exactly how that all worked. Did that make sense a little bit more? Yes, yes. Now on one of my follow-ups, I was gonna ask you, mm -hmm. she's one of my challengers, and I'm mm -hmm. trying to get her to upgrade to the 2B mindset. And she said it was wonderful, and she wanted to do it. I sent her the link, and then she hasn't done it, so I followed up with her, and she's not answering me. And she's my cousin. I talk to her all the time. You know yeah. what I mean? So I don't get why she's not answering me yeah. what the what the problem yeah. is. It you happens. know what I mean? It, it happens so how would I follow her? It happens, it happens a lot. So a couple of things that I have learned over the years that help with that is as soon as I get the verbal yes, not just I'm interested, as soon as they're like, Yes, I want to do it, and I send them the link, I put them in the group. I welcome them in the group. Welcome, Kim. I'm so glad you're in the group with us. And then they're like, oh, I'm in the group. Oh, <laughs> you know, and then that helps just in itself of them like, okay, like I'm doing this, like I, sh I need to do that or whatever. And then, um, so like in two days or something and be like, Hey, I was looking in my back office and I didn't see your order yet. Can I help you with it? And then, um, you know, if they're like, oh yeah, I just didn't get to it, I'll get to it. And like, okay, good. And then if they don't answer, which sometimes happens, say, hey girl, I'm sensing you're hesitating and this isn't a good time for you right now. Um, you know, can we talk about it? Like, or I'll say something like that. Still no answer, then say, hey girl, I'm gonna take you out of the group for right now, you know, and when you're ready, I will be right here waiting. And, and then that's it. And then I keep liking and love bombing on their page and stuff like that. That's one thing that's not on this tracker really, I guess kind of goes under social media posts, but like I still go to her page and be friendly with her. And then I would talk to her about something else, you know, like, Hey, I saw you guys went to the lake. Did you have a good time? You know, and I would just let it go because she, she knows that you're there <laughs> and, and you know, it happens to me a lot. Like it does. It, it happens. And like Lindsay will say, right, like you can't count that they're going to order. Like I got successful six, I know, because they said they're going to do it. Like until it's in your back office, it's, it, it's not, you know. So, um, and, and a lot of times it's fear. It's a lot of times it's, I don't, I'm afraid to fail like them. I'm afraid that I won't do this well. It's not worth the money, you know, stuff like that. So, yeah. Does that help? Well, don't take it personally. Just try to keep digging in to figure out, you know, what, what, what is causing that fear in them and that hesitancy. And yep. 
Yeah, definitely. And check their social media. Like I had a girl that I wasn't really, I don't know, I just wasn't seeing her post or she didn't write a lot. But then I went and looked and like, I don't know, like her dog died or something like that. You know, like you, you instead you're like, are you ordering? Come on. Like, why aren't you ordering? You know, like be, be a real person and be nice and like, you know, go, go, um, and check and be like, oh my gosh, I saw your dog. That must be so hard. I've never had that happen, but blah, blah, blah. You know, like just, they're going to remember that more than like the, hey, aren't you ordering? Hey, aren't you ordering? Like, you know, they're, they're going to be like, I remember she reached out to me, you know, during that time. Yeah. So that's good. Any other things? Sreta, anything? I just can't believe it's less than a month till summit. <laughs> I know. I can't wait. Three weeks. The 30th. Yeah. Not long at all. Less than three weeks or so. I know. I'm, I'm so, so scared to fly by myself. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever flown or no? Mm -mm. No. Okay. So we can talk about it, like walking you, you know, you through it. It's going to kick us off. we got one minute here, but, um, you know, you can like how to have go through the boarding, you know, like they're going to go through the standard to check and make sure you don't have any weapons on you and stuff like that. You have to take off your shoes and put them through the scanner and then, um, you know, find on the walls, they have monitors and you can ask, there's so many people you can ask, be like, where do I need to go? <laughs> and they can help you. Okay. Go right there. And you know, that'll help you get to where you need to go. And, oh, cool. yeah. and the flight attendants are super nice. You can say this is my first time and they'll know, you know, to help you more too. So, yeah. Yay. <laughs> no, I'm excited too. I can't, I can't wait. Okay. I got to get, leave Texas in the next like little bit, which is so insane, but <laughs> I will get there. <laughs> we got our orders today though. Oh, praise God. I was like, I had to ship our van. I have three days in which I can do it. I have to drive it all the way to Dallas and take, get somebody to drive with me all the way to Dallas to drop it off. And I'm like, I can't do that until I have orders and I have to leave. So like, when is that happening? <laughs> but they got it. I have got them today so I can do it next week. <laughs> all right, guys, it's going to kick us off. So I'm going to cut it off so it doesn't end well, but thanks for coming. And I love you guys. I love our little, our little crew and I can't wait for summit. <laughs> Love you too, Jim. All right. Bye, guys.